Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Rich Paul breaks silence on Bronny James staying in NBA draft with eye-opening Lakers take. As expected, Bronny James is staying in the 2024 NBA draft and giving up his remaining college eligibility, according to ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski and Jonathan Giveney. Clutch Sports' Rich Paul confirmed the decision ahead of Wednesday's NCAA deadline to withdraw from the draft. Bronny has seen his stock rise thanks to a strong pre-draft process, including an impressive showing at the NBA draft combine. Paul opened up on the guards' prospects and again reiterated that Bronny won't be signing a two-way contract. Bronny's draft range is wide, Paul told ESPN. He's a really good prospect who has a lot of room for growth. It only takes one team. I don't care where that team is, it can be number 1 or 58, but, I do care about the plan, the development. The team strategy, the opportunity, and the financial commitment. That's why I'm not doing a two-way deal. Every team understands that. Paul also addressed all the speculation about Bronny going to the Los Angeles Lakers to play with his dad, LeBron James, who has expressed in the past a desire to play with his son before he retires. The Lakers need to look at Bronny like everyone else, Paul told ESPN. If they value him enough and he's there, that's great. If it's not the Lakers, that's great. I won't be mad if it's not. It's obvious that people hear the conversation around the dad and son playing together, but that's not our focus. If it happens organically, great. I'm not building on that. I'm not putting unrealistic expectations on Bronny. He's far from a finished product. But he has a hell of start. He's positioned well. I don't see him not getting drafted, but if it got to a point where the situations didn't make sense and we needed to go undrafted, that's fine. Bronny James NBA Draft Workouts It was reported earlier in the week that Bronny James had secured at least 10 invites for pre-draft workouts, but he would likely only make a few actual visits. The Lakers and Phoenix Suns were among those teams he would visit. Rich Paul didn't specifically confirm those two workouts, but seemed to confirm Bronny would be declining many of the invites. We're still figuring it out, Paul told ESPN. Many teams have called. It's a matter of hashing out workouts and figuring out who is real and who is not. There are only two or three teams that might take him. That's how I am going to approach that. Bronny James was viewed as a potential first-round pick before his lone season at USC but then a cardiac arrest scare changed everything for the young guard. While he was able to return to the court and play for the Trojans, the season didn't go as hoped and questions emerged about whether he would even be drafted. There are still no guarantees, but it seems as if Bronny's pre-draft showings will put him in position to at least go in the second round. Clutchpoint's most recent mock draft has him going to the Los Angeles Clippers at number 46 while ESPN has him as the number 54 prospect in the top 100. As for the two teams Bronny is currently slated to do workouts with, the Lakers are set to have the number 17 pick, as long as the Pelicans decide to defer their usage of the pick to 2025 as expected, and the number 55 pick. The Suns hold the number 22 pick in the draft. Picking Bronny in the first round still seems like a pretty significant reach, but at this point, we can't rule anything out. There was some buzz about Phoenix taking Bronny and then trying to get LeBron to join on a cheap contract in order to play with his son, but that's just not a realistic scenario. Whatever the case, it seems clear Rich Paul is orchestrating this process in order to get Bronny James drafted and to a place he wants to go. There's just under a month until the draft, so we'll see how this all plays out. Magic Johnson makes one wish to ESPN for Heat Icon. A lot of NBA players venture into some form of media after retirement. They still have the elite ball knowledge and know the field of players too well such that their expert commentary would be a nice product. There are levels to this, because some have been doing podcasts, while others are on live television. Udonis Haslam has been experiencing the latter half in the past few weeks, while covering the NBA playoffs for ESPN. The Miami Heat legend has garnered quite a following for his refreshing takes one of those individuals in Los Angeles Lakers legend Magic Johnson. Lakers legend makes his plea. 
the league will never be short of analysts. As long as there are a lot of players retiring from the association, the commentary and analysis of things like the NBA playoffs will always have some integrity. But, there are just some who have an innate talent for it. Just recently, J.J. Redick has shown that he had one of the best basketball minds and is now the favorite to land the Lakers' coaching job. Another person on the rise is Udonis Haslam. The Heat legend has been such a good member of the media so far. This has piqued Magic Johnson's interest so much that he wants him to be a staple when he comes to the shows. The Lakers' great could not help but outline his eagerness to see Udonis Haslam from the sideline or in the studio a lot more. ESPN, you definitely have an excellent team of ex-players already with Kendrick Perkins, Jay Williams, Tim Legler, and J.J. Redick, but you should hire Udonis Haslam permanently. He's been spectacular in breaking down the NBA playoffs, from the players' game and mentality to the X's and O's, as well as the philosophy of the game, Udonis has done it with intelligence, charisma, and flair. And he's funny too, he said. It may take a couple more games in the NBA Finals for him to really get that earned bag. For now, viewers can just enjoy and laugh along with him while he gives useful insights on how to properly view the game. They could be the next big thing, since the NBA on TNT might get part apart. An insane run with the heat. If loyalty needed to be personified, it would largely point to someone like Haslam. Since joining the NBA, he has been very busy with his life. That did not mean that the effort was not there to be analytically great. His greatness also helped him become one of the best power forwards in his draft class. He was part of the legendary 2003-2004 NBA All-Rookie team and they were stacked. His role with the Heat then kept getting bigger over time. Sitting on the sideline or watching it from the studio, Haslam's appearances are surely going to be valuable. Carmelo Anthony sounds skeptical of J.J. Redick as Lakers coach. The Los Angeles Lakers have plenty of questions to answer this offseason after a disappointing end of the season. The Lakers parted ways with Darvin Ham and his entire staff after they were sent packing by the Denver Nuggets for the second straight year. Ham consistently trotted out confusing lineups and failed to energize the locker room. Now the Lakers are in need of a new lead man and J.J. Redick seems to be the frontrunner. Carmelo Anthony, a longtime friend of LeBron James, did cast sound doubt on the Lakers hiring Redick to be the next coach due to his lack of experience. Anthony said it could be risky to hire an unproven head coach and talked about it on 7 p.m. in Brooklyn podcast. He said, I mean a lot of times it don't pan out. I mean, if you look at guys who have been in situations where they went straight from playing to coaching. I mean you look at Jason Kidd left us went straight to Brooklyn. I had just played against Derek Fisher four months ago, and he was my head coach. You know what I mean? It was like those type of situations that haven't worked out for whatever reason, they haven't worked out? Kidd was the head coach of the Brooklyn Nets from 2013 to 14, and they went 44 to 38, making the playoffs. Despite that, he was out of town after just one season before heading to Milwaukee. As for Fisher, he struggled mightily as the head coach of the New York Knicks from 2014 to 2016. Fisher went 40-96 to before getting fired halfway through the second season. Anthony has a point in hiring an unproven coach. That may be a bold move as the Lakers have an aging star in LeBron James and their championship window isn't long. It hasn't worked out well in the past for other teams so if the Lakers in fact hire Redick, they will be taking a leap of faith. And are you a fan? What do you think of Carmelo Anthony's statement? Leave your opinion in the comments.